Hey guys, welcome to another SaaS landing page teardown. Today we have Wildjar, which is a really cool business that I found on the Nathan uh, Latka's podcast. Um, basically what they do is they track uh, where your calls are coming from, like for uh, businesses where they get like lots of calls and they want to figure out where they're coming from and which channel is like is working for them so, you, so they can double down, on it, uh, double down on it. So this is a page that is, um, you know, it's, it's a, a pretty clear page, nice and straightforward. You can understand what they do, but you don't understand the full extent of how good it is, right? So it's, it's it could be the difference between you just saying, hey, this is cool, I'll, I'll look at it, or I'll, I'll look at it later, or something like that, to saying, hey, this is exactly what I need, I need to get a trial, and I need to get have my team test it out, right? It's, it's a completely different reaction, and can have still a big impact on the trials that they're getting, right? So, um, you know, this part is clear, it's, it's clear on, on what they do, but the problem is, uh, and actually this is something that they do uh, really well with the copies, right? So where are the calls coming from? Who's calling you? What are they saying, right? So uh, that part is really good because he's addressing the exact questions that they have uh, when they are trying to look for uh, or attribute where the calls are coming from. But the problem is uh, you're not really showing how you're able to track this stuff, right? So is that, uh, for example, GDPR compliant for the big companies because they don't even consider buying something if it's not, right? Or if it's not compliant to whatever rules they need to be compliant with, right? Um, so how do you find these things, right? How do you properly attribute uh, this, uh, like where it's coming from? How do we know that that's correct, right? So these are all objections around how it works uh, that are not really addressed, right? So for example, who's calling you? Uh, how do you know? How do you know like who's calling you? Do you know the company? Do you know the exact lead? Uh, do you know? Um, if there are like multiple people in the same company, um, how do you know that stuff? Like how do you, how do you track that again? If the GDPR compliance stuff that they might be worrying about, uh, and then how accurate uh, is this data in, in the first place? Because a lot of these companies promising a lot of things, but then the data quality isn't that great, right? So that needs to be addressed. Otherwise, they're going to assume uh, you, the, the quality of the data is, is going to suffer, right? So and, and what's being said, right? Why not show uh, instead of saying? Uh, if you record the calls, they probably have like some sort of tool that transcripts it automatically and you can find, um, you know, when people ask questions or you can get half stats of who talked the most or or uh, which one has an opportunity and stuff like that. But the problem is they're just showing me the screenshot. Uh, they're just showing this tool without actually showing a screenshot or, or a GIF of how it works and how much uh, information that I can get out of, the, out of those calls. Because if it takes me a long, a long time to analyze the hundreds of calls that my, that these businesses might be getting, then it's not useful, right? Because they're not able to filter them out. Uh, then when it says need to connect with your tech stack, what exactly can I do with this, right? Can I, uh, can I uh, for example, uh, attributes where the call, a call is coming from with a goal in Google Analytics, right? For example, can I, uh, can I attribute revenue to uh, a, um, a sale that was made on a call after someone uh, called the business, after they saw a Facebook ad, right? Can you do all those things, right? So it's not about just saying connects with the tools you have, is what can you do with the tools that you're already using, right? That's what that, that's the goal. Then another big objection that they have, especially if they're targeting agencies, is around the reports, right? So what sort of reports can I get? What sort of insights can I get from this, right? Do I just see uh, where the channel is coming from or I'm, uh, which channels is working best? Or can I see which channel is working best per country, uh, per type of uh, business? If it's like a really big business in the US, maybe I noticed that all the leads are coming from cold calls or, or maybe somewhere else. Um, or I noticed that all the $1,000 deals are coming from uh, Facebook ads, and that means that it's working well, and we can double down, uh, double down on it and spend more money on it, right? So how how detailed we can get with all these things is these are things that they kind of addressed, but they need to go way, 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 way deeper for uh, big companies or uh, for companies to say, hey, this is exactly what I need. Let me sign up. Let me try it out. Let me have my entire team look at this stuff, uh, or my sales team look at this stuff, or my marketing team look at this stuff, right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, the, pa the page is clear on what they do, but not how they do it and why they're way better, which can be a big difference in terms of signups, right? So uh, hopefully you like this teardown. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you uh, saw this teardown and 
notice, hey, this guy seems like he knows his stuff, wondering how this might apply to me, then just go to Cortezas Design slash apply, uh, or you click here to book a free strategy session. Basically what that is, is we'll start off with a free intro call. It's pretty casual, 15, 20 minutes. I wanna figure out if I can help you in the first place, because I do have like a criteria for clients where I have like my sweet spot, depending on traffic volume, how they price things, who they target and all that stuff, and how they get their customers. Um, where he has like a sweet spot there. And then if it seems like we're a good fit for on both ends, then we book another strategy call to figure out what does, what tweaks do we want to make? What does the process look like? What does the pricing look like? All that stuff, right? So pretty casual. Let's start with that intro call. Uh, and again, hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe see you on a call. Cheers.